KTN TV Radio Network Broadcasting Podcasting. The Brown Beauty is back on duty. It's time for the second version of the Jesse T Show here live on the air and everywhere from the community to the world. Good to have you along with us. As me, Jesse T, we are live here on Sunset Boulevard at the Laugh Factory, the world famous Laugh Factory. You can see it in the background. What we're here for is a special event. A charitable event where all the money raised tonight is going to go to the Cancer Research uh, Society that takes care of sarcoma. And a lot of the top comedians in the world are going to be here uh, tonight. And we're going to get most of them or some of them or maybe a few of them or maybe all of them on the red carpet and uh, have a chance and an opportunity to talk to them live. So there's the Laugh Factory right there. You can see the uh, paparazzi and press and and also you can see that uh, channel seven here behind us is here or is that channel five that's channel five yes i can't read backwards so they're here uh, covering this event it's a special event for research uh, on sarcoma a very very bad cancer uh, that affects so many people in this country so we're out here covering it on the jesse t show at the live factory on sunset and laurel avenue the world famous live factory they've seen every major comedian here uh, over the last 30 years the live factory is world known and some of your top headliners who we're going to have the opportunity uh, to talk to Excuse me as I pull my bag up tonight. We're going to have an opportunity to talk to Craig Robertson. He's going to be here. Also, Ada Rodriguez, she's going to be uh, here tonight. Uh, Dane Cook won't be here tonight, but I'm going to go over the list of who we're going to hopefully have a chance to chat with. Tim Allen uh, won't be here tonight, but he might stop by from what I understand. Uh, you can catch us on Facebook Live here, facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrell. Tommy Davidson is here tonight, and he is the sort of the chairman of of this. Uh, Earthquake is here tonight. So a lot of great comedians are going to be making people laugh. And uh, Louis Anderson, the great Louis Anderson is going to be here uh, tonight performing here with Bill Bellamy. See, I told you there's lots of comedians doing sets here. D.O. Hughley, I just saw him going in the back door there. He's here already. And uh, you've seen Craig in a lot of movies uh, as well. So anyhow, we'll be out here and hopefully we're going to have the opportunity to chat with some of these people here uh, and uh, as they come out to the red carpet and we cover uh, the red carpet activities here. Dan the man is over there. You see him in the green. Dan the man. There he is. There's Dan the man. He's waving at you and uh, he's uh, covering one end of the red carpet so I can get a good position there and to get a little piece of, uh, of, of the laugh factory. I'm going to cross right here. I'm going to interview Monique. Monique has put this together. She's the PR person here who's taking care of this event. So let's kind of walk up to Monique. Hey, Monique, we're live. Can I get five seconds with you? Okay, tell me about what's going on. I just did a piece with the sarcoma and the laugh factory. What's okay. happening? Oh, we're doing the first annual fundraiser for the Sarcoma Oma Foundation. But before I do that, you're, I know that you're probably doing Facebook Live. We should walk over and get the organizer of the whole event. Well, let's do that. Aaron? Yeah, 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 yeah grab him here. That Aaron, bald head. Actually, let's get Aaron. Actually, we're on Facebook, Instagram, live stream, Periscope, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, and to uh, Blogger and Tumblr because this goes back to our station at Good. Sony, and then they they bounce it out live Great. to about twenty different sites. Great. So that's kind of this well, is we're just doing, a We're raising money for one of the one of the rarest cancers there is. It's only one percent. The come um, on in here. Come Aaron, on here. hey Aaron, come on in here. Come on, thing. get close let to get us. Aaron, let me get Aaron in the camera. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys look actually pretty good together. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say, uh, maybe I'm a matchmaker tonight, huh? I'm Jesse T. This is the Jesse T Show. We're live on 20 different uh, social media sites. It bounces back to our Sony studios, and then they send it out and bounce it down line for us. So we use Facebook as our primary foundation because it just about gets everywhere these days. So tell me a little bit about what we're doing. We did a little piece on the Laugh Factory, but it's starting to get a little crowded. you got great comedians out here tonight. Now, why are they here? We got together uh, for a great cause. Um, my mom passed away a couple years ago, and uh, Tommy Davidson called me out of the blue, and he said, what are you up to? And I told him, and he said, how can I help? And from that day, he just just went full force and uh, put everybody that he knows together 
everybody wanted to be a part of tonight. And we have a solid lineup, a really big solid lineup. And here he is. <laughs> yes. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Come, say hi real quick. come on. Okay. I'm gonna come back. Oh, he's, he's Tom. God, oh, come on, come on. We're live on 20 different sites right now. Tommy Davis, everybody, putting this together uh, with this young man right here. Hey, thank you. And tell me a little bit how you got involved. Um, he called me. He said, "This is a great cause." He said, "It's about my mom. It's about cancer." I said, "My mom died of cancer. We got a deal." Next thing you know, we're on the corner of Sunset and Laurel with all the stars doing it big. Yeah, man, it's going to yeah. be a big night tonight. Yeah, Who's here? Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Uh, Louis Anderson, Martin, Seinfeld, I just saw him. Yeah. Earthquake. 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 Um, Greg Robinson. Yale Hughley. Uh, Jeremy here? Piven. Jeremy Piven? Yeah. Oh, man, Mr. Entourage. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking. Absolutely. So thanks. That would be great. Hey. Get this stuff together, but stay here tonight. You got to see everything. Hey, we're going to be on. We're on now. You better be we're on. We're on, baby. All right, so all the support. Well, tell Appreciate me some more. How do they get in touch with you? How does our public get in you touch with you? Sarcoma-oma.org. Absolutely. All and, right. And I appreciate everything you guys are doing. Hey, I really we'll do. We'll talk to you some more a little okay. bit later on. All right, okay. I want to roll hey. around and see if I can get a spot over here. Oh, yes, we have to. Uh, gra we'll grab him. Jonathan Butler, absolutely, got to get Jonathan. My goodness, absolutely. So any, anyhow, we're on the corner, we're on Sunset Boulevard at the Laugh Factory. You can see Jonathan Butler in the background here on the red carpet at the media board. And uh, it's all about sarcoma tonight. It's all about, it's all about uh, helping those that need our help. And we want you to get involved. Saying hi to people are starting to come on board now. Good to have you along with us. This is Jesse T and the Jesse T Show. Dan the Man is right here with us. Dan the Man, what's happening, buddy? This is what's happening. Absolutely. So I'm going to move on down on the other side of Extra and and uh, grab Jonathan and tell him to come on over here. So that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can grab Jonathan a little bit here. Absolutely. So so uh, you can see uh, Extra is out here. Channel 5 is out here. And, uh, and the Jesse T Show. Hey, buddy, we do it here. You never know where we're going to show up. We were just recently at the Greek Festival, but uh, we had to kind of exit stage right and come on over here and talk to Jonathan Butler. And all the great stars are on, out here to help out in terms of the event and uh, uh, raising money for the cancer called sarcoma. At the Laugh Factory on the Jesse T Show, hey, we are catching the vibe. Dan, the man out here with us and uh, he's having a good time here he's kind of taking pictures and doing what Dan the man does absolutely boy we play a lot of Jonathan's music saying hi to uh, Jeff Langton who has us on Becky Robinson has us on uh, also uh, Erica Dana S S Salsa has us on thanks a lot and also uh, John Pat John and Patty have us on so uh, they're there uh, doing this. We're going to grab him in a second. Hey, Jonathan, can I get a second with you? Uh, we're live here on 25 different social network wow. sites, Facebook, Periscope, Livestream, Tumblr. This is the Jesse T Show. Wow. I'm Jesse T. Hi. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Uh, man, I've loved you over the years. Thank over you. and over and over Thank and over. Thank you very much, Jesse. All the radio stations I play, I've worked at as a disc jockey. I oh, mean, wow. come on, man. KJLH, K Ace, yes, yes, yes. K Day here oh, in Los Angeles. Oh, my God. So we I, go back. I've been playing your music for a long time. We go back. So tell me, what got you involved with sarcoma? Well, I, you know, I met Tommy um, a few times, but the last two weeks, Tommy and I were at sea together with um, Denise Williams and Freddie Jackson, and we really, All my we really, favorites. were really connected, really hooked up. And when we got off the boat a couple of days ago, about two days ago, you, you know, we spoke on the phone, and he said he was doing this, and I said I, I, I would love to come and support you. Yeah. So he asked me if I would come and sing a song. So I brought my oh, guitar. Are you going to sing tonight? So I brought my guitar. And I'm here to support this cause, and I think it's very important because I too have lost, you know, family. Yeah, cancer. you know, I was reading today that uh, they, they're finding cures for all types of cancers, and that's a good thing. So it's all about money, and it's all about raising awareness yes. and raising more money, because that's how we fight this stuff. Let me tell you, if there, there's a God, there is a cure. Yeah. If there wasn't a God, I would say I don't know, but I know if there's a God, there is a cure. You know all those uh, all those brothers and sisters that live in the deep Amazon? They don't get cancer. I wonder why we do. Well, man, you know, it, it just it just uh, you know it just makes us understand how fragile life is and how fragile we are, and how you know these things happen to good people, to bad people. It just happens to all of us, and so we just have to learn. Absolutely. Just have to learn. Hey, wise words from Jonathan Butler, man. You just love this guy's.
music. What are you doing right now? I am, uh, I'm releasing my new record in August. Right on. And um, it's probably album number 30 or something. I know, gosh. And uh, so I'm very excited about that. And I'm on tour right now, you know, right. currently touring, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, hey, good luck. Thanks a lot for the Thank moment you, you man. Spent. We're going to be hanging out, watching this show. Can't wait to see you do Sounds some like guitar work, man. Sounds all, like a plan. All right. Jonathan Bald, everybody. My name is Jesse T. Show. Good to have you along with me. And, uh, and uh, it's just wonderful. It's in my bag. It's dropping dropping below me but you know how we're doing we do it live here on the uh, on the show here and uh, you never know we're going to show up we're catching the vibe dan the man was that cool come on in here dan the man was that cool jonathan that Parker, was man. very cool i mean that that guy is like uh he's been around forever i've been playing his music ever since i've been in the radio business that's right it goes back to number one then and number one now you know and by the way uh, hot 92.3 thebeat.com we've got a new show called the high energy show coming up here every saturday night from nine to Midnight. We're going to be playing music like that from Jonathan Butler as uh, some slow love tunes, but we're we'll dancing it up with some hip hop and funky, funky music and some good cool rap pop music. It's going to be great. DJ Hayes and DJ Eddie on the wheels. And watch for DJ Bazooey. Yes, and I wonder who that could be. Bazooey, Bazooey. <laughs> Down the man with us, so we're going to get a little plug there. But uh, as we uh, stay live here now, we're not breaking away because you never know you never know who's going to be coming up here. You can see a beautiful media board that's happening here. Absolutely. So some dignitaries are coming up here. Absolutely. Aaron Weiner. Thank you. you got thank, hey, Jonathan, thank you, man. All right. So we're going we're gonna to talk to Aaron and Gary here. Uh, there, there are uh, some dignitaries, some VIPs that are coming down the way here uh, to uh, talk about sarcoma and see what it's about. That's what we're out here. You never know what's happening here in uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood, but you can rest assured that Jesse T is on the spot. Yeah, that's what we do here. The Brown Beauty is on duty. It's time for the Jesse T Show, and we're doing our thing here, absolutely. Uh, and uh, well, one of the things I wanted to mention... Uh, about the Laugh Factory tonight, there's going to be a lot of stars here. I mean, we're talking a, a lot of stars. Bill Bellamy, Tommy Robinson, who we had on uh, earlier. Also, uh, Louis Anderson is going to be here. I, I hope to get a chance to talk to Louis. He's been making people laugh for years and years. Dio Hughley will be checking in here. And uh, oh, we can't forget about uh, Earthquake is uh, going to be here. And uh, Chris uh, Robinson is going to be here. A great star, uh, uh, comedic actor, too, as well. And you know, you've seen him in a lot of of movies and a lot of movies in the last couple of years so we're going to grab these folks as they come on down the road here as the red carpet continues on the Jesse T show and you know we broadcast live every day of the week here Monday through Friday from 5 to 6 we call this show Catching the Vibe we're out at the Greek Film Festival earlier today and uh, had some technical problems but we solved those and fixed those and we're ready and red hot and rolling right here and, uh, uh, and this is really an important thing because everybody's been touched by a tragedy in their lives with their family members, especially as we all get older. Uh, everybody has been touched, and so uh, these folks here have put together a great foundation. It's the first year ever of this, and it's a terrific foundation because it helps those that are suffering from sarcoma. And sarcoma is a very, very difficult disease to deal with, uh, and, and it's very important that, uh, that we get the word out and the awareness out. And as you saw earlier, some folks were uh, touched by losing family members uh, of their own due to cancer. Cancer, though, uh, is uh, on its way, hopefully, and God willing and God praying that that cure will take place. But we're today, tonight, we're at the Laugh Factory as we roll on here in Hollywood and we're catching the vibe. And uh, that's what we do every Wednesday. We're out in the street kind of seeing what's going on. We're broadcasting live on Facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero. Also, Instagram live at Jesse Terrero. Live stream periscope tumblr twitter diggy um, pinterest read it and uh and on uh, the power of voices uh, dot com so lots of good things happening here as uh, we uh get out here in Hollywood and, and uh, Los Angeles and we cover all kinds of events and all kinds of things uh, to bring you the best vibe we can find what's going on, uh, on here in Los Angeles and this is a good vibe and it's a good vibe because it's about doing something right for the community and uh, that's what we are all about here at the Power of Voices as you know uh, the Power of Voices is a non-profit organization with over 70 shows and 70 live shows on the air and everywhere uh, I have one of them called the Jesse T 
show. Uh, and uh, he's gonna, we're gonna kind of get him down the pecking order right here, and that's kind of what happens here. The pecking order uh, just uh, comes in, and then I get, I get, I get my, uh, I get my chance here in just a second. Uh, but. Uh, as uh, the, the folks move down here, more on the red carpet, uh, and there were some dignitaries here and some VIPs. We're going to be taking care of them and talking to them more about the society. In fact, a young man uh, in the blue shirt just over behind me and talking with the older gentleman right here, his mother uh, passed away, and he was the one that actually started this foundation, reached out to Tommy Davidson, and uh, boy, uh, one and one equals two, and magic happens. You know, the power of one can change the world. That's what uh, great uh, Greek philosopher once said, Socrates, I believe it was Aristotle said to, uh, uh, Aristotle said to, uh, no, it was Plato that said it to Alexander the Great. One, Aristotle said it to Alexander the Great. One man can change the world. And, and uh, it's really important that we get behind in this event. Also, as you know, we, we also cover the Coalition Against Human Trafficking. And you can check out our website as I've been busting human traffickers for a long time here in Los Angeles. And uh, we want you always to check out with that and fight that cause with us as well. So it's a little bit noisy out here as the uh, evening starts to set here in Los Angeles. And we're just at the precipice of, of uh, West L.A., actually, and Beverly Hills, just down the way on Sunset Boulevard and all the great clubs that uh, are uh, sprinkled the street here on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, right now, though, uh, as we hang out here on the corner, yes, we're on the corner. <laughs> Can you imagine? We're sitting on the corner. We're sitting on the corner on Sunset Boulevard and doing our thing, Dan the Man and I. Absolutely. So so we'll get some more people in here. Hey, Dan the Man, let me ask you a question. Yes. Uh, we were at the Greek Festival a little bit earlier, and uh, did we see some great Greeks? Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Don't go away. Come on. No. Go over here, guys. Over here. Come back to me. You hey, can't forget about me, Jesse T. Absolutely not. Hey, we are on uh, about 20 or so social network sites, okay, Fabulous. at this moment. So tell me who you are. I know this young man already. We talked. So uh, let me know who you are and how you got involved. I'm Gary Weiner, and I'm this young man's father. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Close up. <laughs> okay. Close up. Brothers. Brothers. Okay. The milkman did not stop at your house. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so at any rate, um, his mom, uh, my wife, succumbed to sarcoma in April of 2015. And this uh, is in honor of her. Thank you. Uh, so we founded an organization in honor of her, and we fund the travel of patients who have succumbed to sarcoma, which is not that many places to go, and it's not that inexpensive to get there, so we help them get there. A lot of people don't know exactly what sarcoma is. They've heard it on the news, they've heard it on programs, but they don't know what it is. Can you give a little explanation about that? Well, you're right, because it only afflicts uh, 1% of cancer patients, and it's a, uh, it, it hits the soft, te- soft se- t- cell tissues. Um, and if it's in a finite area, it can be operable and it can be fixed. But if it spreads, it's really not much you can do. So the secret, I think, is to immunology medication. And so we fund that. With, there's a study in MD Anderson, and we're supporting that, as well as getting the patients to treatment. Well, you know, uh, your wife and your mother, God rest her soul, and uh, I'm sure she fought the fight. And, uh, and I'm sure she'd be proud of her family, her loving family, Taking a step forward and and you know taking the taking the the the, the sword and fighting the fight for her. I think she would be uh, embarrassed by the attention, but she'd be pleased that we're helping people out. Yeah, and, she, and, and and hey, look, man, if you don't do the right thing, there's a ghost sitting on your shoulder. You're right. You're right. She would have loved this thing. Yeah. This this is this is so her. So. Absolutely. Well, we wish you the best of luck once again. Give us a website, Instagram, Facebook, someplace that people can donate money or find out information or get involved with your organization. Well, the website is sarcoma-oma.org, and we're on Twitter and Instagram, and it's at sarcoma-oma. Okay. Absolutely. That's the best way to get in touch with. Yeah.
All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot, gentlemen. Thank you very Keep much. Keep the fight, okay? Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys, absolutely. The Jesse T Show. Uh, you know what we have to do? you got to come down to the station. If you guys are local, we have a TV and radio station. Well, that's what we do right here. Uh, come on down to the station. Okay. Let's get Thank the word you. out. Oh, it's very uh, nice Absolutely. We got, I'm on every day of the week with a talk show, 5 this to 6. That's your card? That's okay. our card, okay. and uh, absolutely. And uh, let's get the word out that way. We have a, a good audience. Right. It puts it down, and we'll, we'll uh, you know, get that going, man. Okay. All right? Thank absolutely. You. All right, here we go. Do me a favor. Put that in my pocket somewhere. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. My hands are full. Aida. Aida, I know. She's so tall. My goodness. Aida Rodriguez, everybody, she's coming up here. Look how tall and beautiful she is. What a beautiful dress. You know, comedians, comedians are... Comedians are a rare breed. They look at the world from a kind of different set of glasses. They, they look at the world from in, from a different point of view, and they they do a lot of commentary about what we just travel through every day of our lives. That's why we love comedians so much because they they make the normal seem so absurd, and the absurd be really absurd. Uh, they say great comedy comes out of great tragedy, and uh, so many comedians of the past have had tragic lives, uh, and uh, but that has fostered their comedy tremendously. Uh, Richard Pryor uh, was one of them, uh, one of the greatest comedians of all time, one of my personal favorites, also uh, another terrific comedian. Of course, uh, everybody uh, loved Red Fox very much, George Carlin. Um, these are just some of the three greats, the superstars, the Mount Rushmore's of uh, of the business and so many they broke so much ground here for the young comedians coming along uh, here Cheech Marin and Tommy Chong uh, Cheech and Chong I remember listening to them when I was a kid being a Latino uh, and uh, it was great you know hey Dave's not here Dave's not here hey man let me in let me in remember that but that's Cheech and Chong they cut so much great uh, great trails for folks that are, came on the way. So folks like Aida Rodriguez have been able to really jump out there and, and, and take care of uh, the way she sees the world, and we get to share that with her. That's the wonderful thing about comedians. We get to share that with them and, and their way of uh, looking at the world. And it kind of, you know, it's good to laugh. It's good to laugh at the things that make us cry. And so we'll get some words here with Aida uh, Aida Rodriguez. The, one of the things I wanted to chat with you about, though, of course, is uh, participating in charitable causes. It's really important that we do that because the less fortunate in the world need our help. There's just not enough help uh, for those that need our help. And, and we need to always remember to take care of those that need our help. It's important that we uh, extend that helping hand, and oftentimes it is so appreciated. So, especially with kids and uh, abused women, uh, the Me Too movement. Um, these are just great charitable causes to uh, help fight the fight of human trafficking, uh, help fight the fight of death uh, and disease. Uh, in, in that respect, uh, lots of great foundations like the Shriners, Children's Hospital, Masonic Foundations on the square, and uh, always uh, traveling from the east to the west, uh, looking for the best. You got Jesse T here with you on the Jesse T Show. So kind of give you a little vibe of what's happening. Aida, come on down. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to grab her real quick. Kind of give you a little vibe of what's happening. Hi, Ida, come on down here. And, uh, hey, how are you? I'm doing well. well how right, are you? You're not only doing well, you're like a skyscraper. You're so beautifully <laughs> tall. You. Look at you. Were you ever a, an athlete, like a volleyball player when I you were did a kid play, up? I did play volleyball, and, um, and I modeled as well. So comedy is 
the new job, the yes. new gig. Yes, well, it was a lot of comedy and volleyball and modeling. Oh, absolutely. I was a comedian on uh, <laughs> uh, Nicole Miller's show. Uh, that's when I got fired. That's when I knew I was a stand-up comedian. Hey, you got to be fired from everything. I've been fired from many things myself. <laughs> Jesse T. Show, we're broadcasting on 20 different uh, social network sites right now oh, nice. back at our studio in Sony, so we're bouncing that off. You were talking about political correctness. We are not politically correct at Neither all. Am I. Uh, we have a daily talk show from 5 to 6 every day of the week here in Los Angeles on TV and radio. Boy, we cover the non-political stuff that's not politically correct. And you're right. People who are politically correct um, are really cowards, and you got to watch out for them. Yeah, because people who... I don't want to call people bad words. I don't want to say uh, horrible things about people. I don't want to, you know, make fun of people... Um, I, I just don't want to be mean. I make fun of everybody so that no one right. feels special. But I don't I don't innately want to say horrible things about people. So I don't need to hide behind the banner of political correctness because I think political correctness is it's just fake. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. I always say you can't. You can't get mad at me for offending somebody because I offend everybody. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. How did you know you wanted to be a comedian? I've always wanted to be a comedian. I wanted to be a comedian since I was a little girl, and uh, my mom used to tell me that that's not for girls. So. Um, well, that I fostered the fire even more. I circled back around to it, and I eventually became a comedian, and I'm a pretty good one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you're you're on tonight. You're going to do am. a bit tonight, right? I am. And for the Sarcoma uh, Almost Foundation absolutely. here. How did you get involved with this? Well, Tommy called and asked if I would do it. Um, my gra- I lost my grandmother to cancer, so every year um, I dedicate time out of my year to go do, um, you know, do charity events and events to raise money for to find the cure for right. cancer and to research and treatment. Well, you can do a charitable event for me, Jesse T, because oh, okay. I need some money raised. Oh. <laughs> I've been a walking mess my whole life. <laughs> we all have. <laughs> Look at I, Jeff called me Elvis. You know yes. what? You know what, Jeff? Elvis wished he had a rack like that. That's right. What do you say about that? <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Good to have you along with us. Okay. Uh, good to have you along with us. Um, where can the folks, our fans, keep in touch with you? you got Instagram, oh, Facebook, yeah, or something? Funny, finally, I that funny A I D A on all the social media platforms and on Facebook, it's Ida dot Rodriguez. Say that again. Forms. Funny Ida A I D A, and then on Facebook, um, Ida dot Rodriguez. I have a pretty active Facebook page. We got like a hundred thousand followers, nice. but they engage. They're really engaged. Oh, you got to come down and do our show one day this week uh, or one day to. coming up uh, uh, during the day five to six if you're okay. local absolutely I I would love um, to. what do you got coming up right now that we can look forward to seeing other than tonight so right now I'm streaming on Showtime and HBO I, I'm the only uh, Latin woman to ever tape the Shaq All-Star special which D.L. Hughley did Bill Bellamy did and um, I'm also on um, HBO so on the HBO comedy pl- platform so you can see me right now absolutely well congratulations to your career thanks for helping out oh, thank you it's, it's my cause. pleasure absolutely okay Jesse T with you here absolutely we got the Jeremy Pevin coming down down the road right here uh, Mr. Entourage himself absolutely yeah. What? Only on cancer and... Yes, absolutely. I know. Well, I'm going to talk to him about Entourage, one of my yeah. favorite HBO series of all time. Absolutely. So Jeremy Preference coming down. Also, there's somebody else here that, that uh, I want to chat with here, too. You see, now, as the time goes on tonight, you see kind of what's happening here. People are starting to, starting to kind of trickle in here as the show begins to start here very soon. Absolutely. So that was a great interview. Ida Rodriguez. What a terrific, talented comedian she is. And uh, it's good to see her uh, out here breaking out. You know, she's paved a lot of ways and uh, a lot of great uh, Latina and Latino comedians, Latin comedians, are coming up now. And in fact, as the demographic of America has changed so much over the last 20 years, uh, it was terrific to see uh, terrific, talented uh, avenues for Latinos. Uh, we were recently, there's Louis Anderson right there. Here comes Louis Anderson across the way. Louis Anderson, here he comes. Thank you. Absolutely. So we're going to grab, we're going to grab Louis right here in a second. So absolutely. So Louis Anderson, everybody, check it out. There he is.
There he is in the blue jacket. He'll be making he'll be making his way over here. Do a little interview here. He'll be he'll be coming here on the red carpet. All right. Hey, did you see that? See Louis? Yes, yes. Boy, the minute he got out of the car, he got swamped. Yes. Absolutely, though. But that's Louis Anderson, man. He's been around forever. Forever and a day. So it's good to have him out here supporting the, uh, the Linda Novak Wiener Sarcoma Oma Center. So a lot of great stars here. Jeremy Privens coming down the road here. We're going to be talking to Jeremy. I, I've always wanted to ask him some questions about Entourage. And I uh, always wanted to uh, chat with him on one of my favorite HBO series of all times and how fun that was and all the great movies that he's done over the years. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions there. Uh, got Louis Anderson coming down here. So Louis and... Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, Lots of, lots of folks coming down here. All right, so. What, uh, what, what got you into the community? What did you do some charity? Or you were raising money for children to get them to work. And they threw me up with Russell Peter, which is probably the best in the crowd. Boy, this is a good event. This is really terrific. We've got the paparazzi here. We've got cameras, Channel 5. We've got Extra. We've got the Jesse T Show here on KT and TV and radio broadcasting and podcasting. you got the shuttle buses with tourists driving by. Boy, this is the place to be on the corner of Laurel and Sunset. you got the police doing their thing, and they're zapping their thing. Because I'm at home on stage, and I'm just reading the performance aspect of it to translate it to the Santa Marina. So now, now, Dan, the man, you have to help me out here. Who's the tall guy with the red hat? It's a great question. A lot of people ask me. I think it's Craig Robinson. No, that's not Craig. Craig Robinson is a, a shorter guy, a little more heavy set, with a much rounder head. Yeah. Absolutely. I know we have uh, Tommy Davidson. We talked to Tommy earlier. So anyhow, there's so many people coming down the road here on the red carpet. We're bringing all the action. We are live on the Jesse T Show, on the air and everywhere from the community to the world. And it's good to have you along here as we broadcast uh, here tonight at the Laugh Factory for the Sarcoma Oma Foundation. And, and all the great stars are coming out. Boy, this is terrific. Jeremy Previns uh, on the scene here. He's going to probably get up there and do a little something, maybe. Uh, uh, and uh, it's good to have him around. I just love him. He's well, just a great actor. Just a great actor. And uh, Louis, Louis uh, Anderson coming down the road here. So, uh, and uh, then we have uh, this tall gentleman right here. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. All right. Yes. Petri Bird from Judge Judy. I mean, on Judge Show. He's a what? Judge on TV. Oh, okay. Well, I want to get I want to get Jeremy first. Absolutely. So, uh, he's not Judge Joe. Judge Joe Brown. Hey, Jeremy, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? We are broadcasting live. My name is Jesse T. We're on about 20 different social media sites right nice. now. Nice, nice. Uh, it's we good to be daily, here. daily talk show Monday, every Monday through Friday here in L.A. from uh, 5 to 6 TV and radio. So it's nice. good to have you along. It's good to be here. A uh, question I've always wanted to ask you. Man, I just loved Entourage on HBO. I know you've heard that from gazillions of people, but wow, what a great run that was. How fun was that to do? It was incredibly fun. Uh, it's it's interesting. I was just driving past the Ivy on Robertson today and remembering that when we shot the pilot, we kind of stole this one shot. Where they said, Jeremy, get out of the car and just walk as if you're walking out of the Ivy because we couldn't. Permits were, were, were I'm, I'm you're probably kind of saying the wrong you're thing kind of right gr now. Gorilla in it a little we, bit. We did a little gorilla style back in the day. Uh, this is in the mid 50s, turn of the century, because we're that old at this yes, point. It's when the Dead Sea was still alive. Exactly. The Dead Sea was still sick. <laughs> oh my goodness, it wasn't out yet, huh? <laughs> The redwood trees were just saplings. That's right. That's right. Um, and so I remember. I remember that it was an, an amazing time and a great character. And um, yeah, it was. It was brilliant. I mean, listen, 
people are like, why isn't there more? It's like, well, we did we did eight seasons and a movie, and that's pretty amazing. And and I'm I'm here doing stand up and doing um, you know great charity for for cancer research, and uh, we're all kind of tied to this because I mean we all the people that we've known that have passed yeah, away. Yeah. My father passed away from cancer. No. You know, and you know, so we're here raising money, and there's a full house, and we got great comedians. What got a great great show tonight? Yeah. Except for me, we have a killer lineup. I I expect to be viciously mediocre and bring the level down oh, really? so that the guys uh, you know after me can kind of feel better about themselves. Is that why they were bringing marshmallows and tomatoes in the back? Indeed. Uh, hopefully there are no soup cans because they can really cause some sort of a hematoma over the eye. No, I, I, I love doing stand-up. And Is I, that where you come from? No, I come from from straight theater and I say straight theater but you know we were doing classical straight kind of yeah I mean we were we were doing I was <laughs> I mean I yeah streetcar and all that kind of stuff and scene study and whatnot and 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 say that NYU and all those things but I also performed at Second City and my background is, is sketch comedy you did yeah so so all roads lead lead to this right now man that's great Second City is another great iconic thing yeah absolutely I mean, that's just fantastic what do you got cooking now what's happening besides uh, tonight what do you got uh, coming any new films any anything we can look forward to that you can talk about yeah I, uh, I did a movie with Jamie Foxx called All Star Weekend in which uh, he plays an obsessed LeBron James fan and I'm an obsessed Steph Curry fan and we, I love uh, those characters you play. They're kind of funny, but they're straight, but they're serious, but they're, 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 they look at the world from a different set of eyeballs, your characters. Yeah, this particular guy is a man-child, and he's obsessed with Steph Curry. And he, you know, he's, he missed the big shot back in the game, uh, back in the day um, in college, and he's never kind of, like, recovered from it. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, broad road comedy that I can't wait for. And also... I'm on stage, I'm heading to Phoenix to do Phoenix Live, and then I'm going to Yuck Yucks in Toronto, and I'm on the road doing stand-up comedy. Man, you are a busy guy. Nothing like being on the boards, baby. No, I love it. I love it. And, and I, I have no idea who's watching right now. To all, to all 11 people that are viewing us yes. right now. Well, actually five. Five is yes. a I solid five. Yeah, I just lost one because you aren't six foot nine. Oh, Jesus. I only okay. have people that are six nine that watch. they got to be six nine. Okay, we got to go back and watch the Cavs game. <laughs> That's right, man. Absolutely. I didn't hear that. Wait a second. He's that's got a, the voice of God over here. Hat. Right. You got to. You got to talk to this guy about that hat. Yes. That yeah. an, I don't want to get in trouble, I man. Love it. Yeah, I, I, saw, that. I, saw, I saw the hat at first. I was like, Oh no, no. <laughs> right, right. Please no. Please no, sir. I was talking to my brother in Buffalo one day, and, and, and I'm just like going off, and I'm like, Yeah, man. We need to make America smart again. We need to impeach Trump. And my brother-in-law goes, There should be a hat that says that. So I went online and had to make one. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Jeremy, thank you, man. Thank you, appreciate buddy. It. Thank I you, really brother. Appreciate it. Have a good show tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. I can't wait for another Entourage movie. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> By the way, sure. I'm a huge fan. Hey, how are you doing, my I'm friend? Good. I'm good. Right, now, I didn't do it. I wasn't there. It's <laughs> not my been? problem. <laughs> I do have an alibi. And also, I want you to know it was their problem over there. Man, that's right. They it, did was, it. it was they those did. people. Those people I over there. It. Right, I right. I got it. You Now, you know you're talking to the wrong one, right? She, She's the one you got to convince me. No, I'm easy. Going. No, I gotta convince you because you're gonna help me convince her. Okay. That's it. Yeah, you got pecking order. Judge, I, judge, I don't want to influence you one way or another, but this is my buddy here, <laughs> and That's he didn't right. do it. That's right. The only thing he doesn't like to do is dishes. Thank you very much. Yes. So, hey, what a beautiful voice you have. Do you do a lot of voiceovers? Thank you. I would love to do a lot of beautiful voiceovers, man. And so, uh, you know, and to that end, I, I, I continue to try to uh, get my voice in there, you right. know. Absolutely. But at, but as you know, that's a hard nut to crack nowadays. Yeah, I've been doing you know? it a lot of years myself. So, okay. it, But right. I don't have the voice of God. I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like, the, well, well, I, mean, I feel like the voice of a little person right here compared I'm to him. for James Earl Jones to back up, you oh know. My God. So, you know as, oh. as soon as he gets Larry. Laryngitis. I'm stepping in. Oh, man, yeah, man. Know? So tell me, what's happening in your life, real quick? Um, uh, a lot of things. But uh, probably the most exciting thing is I recently applied to become a substitute teacher here in the L.A. area. So uh, clean the system up, will you? We, we tape we tape 52 days a year, and uh, and I get up some mornings and go, you know, I got to do something. And I used to work at a high school as a counselor, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in my paperwork and. Uh, Shock some kids, man. Maybe, you know. See, you don't know. He counseled me <laughs> when I was in school. <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And he's had, and he's had this See, thing I, ever since. Yeah, ever since. <laughs> you did it for me. You're better now. You're so much better now. <laughs>
<laughs> Actually, I, that's great, man. Right on. Uh, you know, help the kids. Kids need help. Sarcoma, how'd you get involved? Man, um, I, I, my son's best friend was uh, uh, was diagnosed two years ago with um, stage four uh, medullary kidney cancer. He was only 27 years old. Matter of fact, he was 25 at the baby. time. And uh, yeah, a baby, man. And and so you know, I, I've decided that you know, anytime I can lend my voice and my money and everything else to the fight against cancer, I'm tired of cancer. It's time to kick cancer's ass. You know? uh, big pharma's got to go down. Yeah. That's all I got to say there. Yeah, that's right. They're the ones and corrupt government. Yeah. And uh, the big banks and insurance companies. There you go. That you take them out, we got a cure for cancer. It's there sitting right there for a hundred years. There you go. You know, and 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 the the nature. Nature is what's going to help us kick Kansas' ass. Nature it's not, made us. Gonna, Nature's it's not, it's not going to be any synthetics, man. It's, in it's the not. Amazon, they don't have any cancer. There you go. What is that telling you? There you go. You know, and and see if you got if you got more of that. You know, that's so you can. You well, actually, know, I, 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 melanin. I thought I thought in Amazon they don't have any cancer because uh, they run around naked. You know, and maybe that was. I think know, if we they, I think they, if we they, start running around naked. Find the cure. It's like, yes. where are you going to find the cure? Well, yeah. I'm thinking about looking up her and all that. And the judge will have a lot of fun with me. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks man, a lot, man. Absolute pleasure. Bro. All right, thank you. Good luck to you. Everything. You're fun. Thank you. Great guy. All right. Jesse T. Show here. Good to have you. Long Tommy Davidson coming down the road here as uh, we uh, move on down through the, uh, through the red carpet here. And people are having a good time here. So uh, that's what we're doing. We're broadcasting live here on the Jesse T. Show. Uh, we're bringing you everybody. Let's say hi to some folks who have us on here. A lot of people watching. Izzy Camille, Jeff Langton, Becky Romero, uh, Eric Denny Salas, uh, Jerry the Platt. Uh, also, uh, let's see who else here. Joe Montelovo, Linda Fedig, Max Elkath, Keith, and uh, Mama T is here with us. Absolutely. All right, so we're working it, and uh, boy, he had a beautiful voice, didn't he? DJ Chorus here for Shout Out for Cause. We're here tonight at the Laugh Factory. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful voice. So we're at the Laugh Factory here, and uh, we're doing our thing here for Sarkama. And uh, we've got Tommy Davidson coming up here, so. All right. Let me give you kind of a look-see as to who's coming down here. Jeremy Previn, really. I didn't know Jeremy Previn was uh, a comedian. Jeremy Previn, a comedian, doing comedy. I like it. It's just terrific, man. Jeremy Previn, of all people, doing comedy. Wow. It's going to be a good show tonight. Dio Hughley's here. We got Earthquake here. Jeremy Previn. Uh, Jonathan Butler's going to do a song with acoustic guitar we found out earlier today. Oh, man. Is this great? Uh, it's just uh, it's so good to be out here. These talented people are uh, going to be performing tonight. Also, uh, Chris Robinson's uh, going to be out here. We'll maybe get a word here with Tommy uh, uh, Tommy, Robin, uh, Tommy uh, Robinson right, uh, right here, uh, coming up here. And... Uh, and uh, we we missed uh, Louis Anderson. I guess he went in. We didn't get uh, the chance to get with uh, Louis tonight, but uh, we did miss him. So we'll see. If we can maybe we can catch up with him a little bit later uh, as we uh, as we move through here. So how are we doing, Daniel, man? What are we doing? Here? Okay, but it's kind of cramped. It is kind of cramped. Yeah. Absolutely. What would those words be? Do you think? All right. All right. Right, right, you know, hey, thanks a lot, Masir Sakahura. Thanks a lot. We're broadcasting live here at the Laugh Factory in Cordia Sunset and Laurel. The Laugh Factory, world known comedy place. Everybody who comes through town here in LA has to perform at the Laugh Factory. So many great comedians on board tonight, too, as well. All right. I am so inspired So we got people to the right. We got people to the left. Cannons to the right of us. Cannons to the left of us. That's right. We're blowing off everywhere, man. Just kind of give you a crowd shot here. Kind of see the paparazzi. Fire. Mm -hmm. 
the next circle of session. And I got a part of this group of partners. We appreciate you spreading out for that good. So we need to remind everyone that you're tuned in out. to Judge Judy. We are so happy. Yeah, and I heard it start off with day. Every day, Check daily. Check your local, local listings, <laughs> right. <laughs> this is BJ yeah. Carissa. They all get on stage. Yeah, yeah. And about this is Shout Out for Cause. We're yeah, more yeah, about how you can get your Shout Out for Cause for Sarkozy. Oma Foundation, go to sarcoma or This is BJ Corazon. And this is Shout Out for Cause. The deal, everybody. Good to see you. I love to hear that you're going back to substitute oh, yeah. teaching. So stuck. Yep. That, 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 that way I can stop the world for you. I need to get a chance to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have the secret colonic, so show his quick technique, so stand it. Feeling a tonic, don't fall. No, no, no. no. <laughs> feeling sensation. It ain't. It's, it it's is. nothing Boom. sexual. Save it your life. I, I, I thought it was John Wayne. <laughs> what? Right? Scare me. Yeah. You special, you special, special you surprise me. for you, my special, special surprise. surprise. I got Ray Parker Jr. and Bill Weathers. Yes, sir. And um, come on, man. Come on. All right, man. And we, what we're gonna do oh, is we're gonna, no. we're gonna do this together. When I wake up in the morning, oh. son. No, you know what? I was up by the Okay, no, no, no. Ready? Hold on, Bill. Bill, you can't this be drunk in this. Guy has no decency. I'm leaving you. <laughs> Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Lean on me when you're not strong. And I, this is your song. You don't remember the words. I remember the line. I ain't that old. That song is old and amazing. Grace. I was a child. I heard it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are so happy just to bring all these people together for this cause tonight. A lot of good friends came out. You know this guy. Yes. My hero. Nice to meet you. I got Ray Parker. I don't mean to so, so, can you tell the security he wouldn't let me take mangoes in there? <laughs> <laughs> so we got a special night. We're doing it for a special cause. We've all come together for one reason, to help people. And in this country, the way things have been going, on the news, on Instagram, there seems to be no positive out here. So we came out tonight to do all the positive. And so that's what we broadcast tonight, so thanks. All right. Hey, Larry. Hey, Martin, you look like a There you go. Bill Withers, just a, just a, a couple of words with you, man. And I've been playing your music for years on the radio for 40 years, man. Just great to have you here. How things been going? You know, it's funny. I was in a helicopter crash tonight. So Wednesday, they went through my neck to do some spine. And so I had this hat because Cowboy Troy and was John Rich gave me this hat. So it's an authentic, authentic Southern cowboy hat I like given to me by my friend. Appreciate that. That song, Lean, I mean, that you guys just did for us there, man. I played that like 10,000 times in like 43 different radio stations in my career. Well, you know, those of us born in the Bible Belt, the way you get the old people off you, boy, you forgot God, you know, talking about love a woman, you know, they're very religious. And when I did that, man, all, it got me out of trouble. Oh, yeah, man. I was no longer this heathen. Out there in Hollywood with them people, you know. So it's fun. It's been a fun, you know. So it's good. Well, we'll see where we can get you some more papaya inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to tell you, you want to know how ironic this is? Ray. Ray. Oh, come come on over here, Ray, Par Ray Parker. Ray, Ray, don't leave. He's not going to leave. Ray Parker Jr. Ray. How you doing, oh, now? I'm live. Yeah, I like we're live. We're 25. The, on 25 the, they look good. Time. If I look good live, I'm good. Maybe. I just remember that big afro you had, man. Yeah. Oh, oh. Had, you're going way back yeah, for the afro. Oh, well, look, and the I'm, black mustache, yeah, right? I do. And when all the hair was black. With that guitar playing, there you man. Go, oh, yeah, yeah man. Caribbean, Caribbean girl. Man. There you go, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, of course, Ghostbusters, too. There you go. And so many. I played a lot of your music over the last 40 years on radio. Well, thank you. Up and down the dial. I used to work for this guy all the time, Bill Withers, playing on his records, too. It's a lovely day. That's me. I'll tell you, how you been, man? What you been doing? I can't. Are you kidding me? I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. Recording with Bill still. We've been doing this for 30, 40 years together. So we're doing some more music together. It's more fun than anything. Oh, we're having a great time. Great time. A lot of fun. Yeah. That's one thing about being successful in something. At some point in your life, you can just 
just have a great yeah, time. Kick back and have man. a good time. That's right. Yeah, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Sure is. Makes things a lot uh, healthier. Exactly. And you're out here for sarcoma, and that's a yeah, really bad a serious thing. Yeah, thing. Tommy said come down. I love Tommy, so that's it. I ain't questioning it. Just come down. That's it. So you got some new stuff coming out that you said? Yeah, new stuff coming out this summer. Can't My wait. new group called Old Guys. <laughs> The OGs. So, the, the little new the old OGs, guys. The, the new OGs. old guys. Right? That's right. The OGs. Yeah, that's, that's right. Cool. I like that. Ray Parker Jr., everybody. Thanks a lot. Ah, thank you. That. All right. Jesse T. Show. Good to have you along. Ray. 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 Come on. Ray. Hi. How are you doing? All doing? right. Good to see you. Yeah. Which Ray. one am I going for? Okay. 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. I'm going to try to send him real well. Can you come over here so we get yeah. Tommy yeah. on the, yeah, the background? I really appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Get him. Get him. Sure, absolutely. And I know it's good because Tommy called me and told me to come down. And that's all so I need to know. Can, can you get him? No, he's coming up. Yeah. Tommy says come down. All right. I just want to make sure that he's Yeah, absolutely. I'm working on the... Okay, so the show's about to start inside. And uh, you had, uh, we, we missed out Martin Lawrence. Uh, let me see, there's a couple other guys here. Uh, let me see, Martin Lawrence, uh, also, who was here, uh, what's it called, the guy Welcome Back Connor. That was him, the guy from Welcome Back Connor. Welcome Washington. Welcome Washington was here. Mr. Connor, Mr. Connor. Mr. Connor, yeah, we missed him. Maybe I should go for, for a little search and see if I can find find him in there. I'm gonna walk walk down here. See how we're doing here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for a little walk and see who I can find around the corner, okay? Uh, better you got to be persevering. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a little walk, see what I can find around the corner. And see what I can find around the corner here. That's... All right. Let's see who we can... Let's see who we can catch up with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is kind of what's happening here at the entrance. People are lining up, getting ready to come in for this great show covering sarcoma. I left the red carpet for a little bit because I wanted to uh, kind of get over here, maybe talk to some people, and uh, and see what they're uh, see what they're doing. Absolutely looking forward to the show show tonight. Hey, are you guys looking forward to the show tonight? Yeah. Yes, we yeah. are. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be here performing. Mm -hmm. We are I mean, this is like a history of so, so many stars. Yeah. I mean, I even hear that Jonathan Butler is going to sing a song on acoustic guitar. Oh. Wow. The actor Jeremy Previn is going to be up. Also, we have D.L. Hughley. We have Chris, yes, Chris, uh, Chris Robinson. Yeah. Um, Earthquake. I mean, the list goes on and on. We're very uh, excited. Aida, Aida Rodriguez. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's going to be like... Great. Are you going to be watching I'm inside? I'm going to be in there taking care of what I do, man. <laughs> yeah. broadcasting live on the That's Jesse awesome. T Show. I'm going to walk down here. Thanks okay. a lot, ladies. Awesome. What's your name? Mary. Where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, you come a long way. But I live, tonight. no, I live in North Hollywood. Oh, okay. I <laughs> moved here. You are, yeah. you are a fan. How about you? <laughs> We're from the same place. We're best friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> gee, I couldn't have figured that one out. You guys look the same. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see what we can do here. As, as, as the crowd kind of... Hey, I'm going to butt in here and just say hi real quick. What's your name? Tamara. We're on uh, 20 different social network sites live now. We just came off the red carpet. So, you looking forward to tonight's show? Yes, really are. Very excited. And what is your name? My name is Maya. Well, look at these beautiful ladies. Thank you. Hop on down here to the Laugh Factory. You're not going to have a chance with these ladies, though, because I'm going to have a chance with them. That's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, well, the brown beauty is on duty, but hey, wow, what, okay. what, what, yeah, that's it. Hey, look at I know how to get it going on. The problem is it don't go on as long as you used to. Okay, <laughs> hey, you know, yeah, still well, get it popping. Yeah, well, once in a while, maybe once a year, I don't know. I've, but that's a whole other story. But a uh, lot of lineup tonight. Louis yes. Anderson, D.L. Hughley, yes. uh, Martin Lawrence, Ooh. Jeremy Priven, Jonathan Butler's going to sing a song on a acoustic guitar. Wow, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. Yes. And Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson, Earthquake. Um, who else is here? Well, I think I, I ran down. Uh, Bill Withers is here. The guy, uh, Ray Parker Jr. Ghost. Yeah, wow. Ray Parker Jr. Okay. Boom Boom Washington from Welcome to Canada. He's here. Um, and yeah, man, this, the place is filled up. Okay. Well, we're excited. So and thank your, you. Get your cameras ready and take some pictures. Okay, we will. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Good to have thank you. you. Thank you. Jesse T Show. Good. Just. Uh, Kind of working it as people are going in. Yeah. Yeah, head on back to the red carpet here. Hey, out here for the Sarcoma event uh, here at the, at the Laugh Factory. And they're going to back around the corner here. They have uh, one more set of folks coming through. We got to Ray Parker Jr. already. 
So we did our thing with with Ray already, and uh, let's let's talk to Monique here and see who else we got coming up. Uh, Monique. All right. All right. Hi. Go ahead. Uh, all right. We're gonna uh, pop back in here and see what we can do. All right, all right, big, big guy. Did uh, did Tommy uh, talk with this guy already from shout out? You're able to But he didn't finish. Oh, okay. Yeah. I already, I already got Tommy. What? I already got Tommy. Good, good. knew the name Right. Where? Where? No, he isn't. When you're done here. No, that's not him. No. Oh, I'm just kind of hovering around the red carpet now, because uh, because because we uh. We were covering on that. We were on it for a little while for the whole time. We got a whole bunch of cool people. Now I just want to kind of, kind of move around a little bit and see, see who else we can, uh, see how else we can talk to. Your, your event is going great. What? Your event is going wonderful. Thank you. My goodness, all Thank the people you. showing up and the tour bus and everything. I, mean, could it be I planned it. Oh, you Thank did? You. Yeah. Monique, you're famous. Oh, because it was TNZ. Oh yes. <laughs> TNZ Man, tour you, bus. You got those connections? Yeah. We got to talk. We got scandal right on the carpet there. Yeah, I'm gonna Bill go down and get him. I got. I talked to Bill. <laughs> Lean on me. I played his song so many times over the years. Forty years of radio. Oh my goodness gracious. Henry Still, Parker Jr. Kicking. That's us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's us. Everything you see is with, is with Ray. Love it, Monique. You're the best. Ray P. All right. All right. Sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go catch up with Oscar, real quick on on the backside over there. We'll uh, we'll uh, catch up with Oscar and kind of move our move ourselves. Can't wait for your guitar work, Jonathan. Can't wait for it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip right in there. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone. BJ Chorus here. First shout-out. Okay. We're going to get back in here. I uh, I kind of let myself out of here, but I want to get back in there. And I got Oscar coming down. Uh, it's uh, terrific here. So we'll get him in just a second. Let's talk to this this fine gentleman here. How you doing, man? I'm doing amazing. Thank it's you very good, much. It's a good, good thing tonight, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of surprise people coming by. More than I thought. I thought it was just comedians, but uh, you know, Martin Lawrence was here earlier. Yeah, I tried and, uh, to catch him. I couldn't yeah, catch him. Exactly. It was a great to see him and a lot of uh, music talent coming through yeah. here, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, I played a lot of these guys on the radio over 40 years. <laughs> yeah, I know. You've been on the radio a long time. A long time. Long time. And, and these guys, uh, I remember when these songs came out. I was talking to Ray Parker about his afro he used to have in his mustache. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Know, yeah. He goes, well, that's a long time ago. Yeah. I said, yeah, man. It really is. But good. So what are you doing here? What, what do you got cooking? Well, the, my, my show is the Andy Broadway Show. Uh -huh. So I interview influencers, very similar to what you do, and celebrities and things like that. Try to get the word out and give people a different way to look at things. Very good. How do they find you? Uh, AndyBroadwayShow.com or go to Facebook, Andy Broadway Show. There you go, guys. Beautiful. Hey, giving some help and love to our compadres here. Absolutely. Right on, man. Good Thanks, to have guys. you. Absolutely. You've been in like 50 or 60 great carpets. What do you think? I mean, let's put it this way. This guy, he's the real deal. And I've got to say, okay. <clears throat> I'm about ready. I'm about ready to kind of see what we can work around here. There's, it's just about they're they're starting to let everybody in now, and the show's starting to go. Damn the man! It was a good time, huh? These are the best of times. Yeah, man. This was a great red carpet at the Laugh Factory here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're going to see what we can do here and grab one more person. Let me see if I can grab Oscar real quick. Um, let me see if I can grab Oscar before he goes. Both in. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Oscar, can I get a few words with you? We're broadcasting live. Yes. And I uh, missed you on the red carpet, but okay. uh, I was out kind of roaming around. My well, name is Jesse T, and we're on the Jesse T Show on 25 different sites right now. Okay. So well, tell me, man, what brings you out tonight? Well, uh, 
couple of classes. First of all, to be with some friends. Tommy's a dear friend, a colleague. We do a lot of stuff together. And secondly, to support a, a very not so known cause, which is sarcoma. Uh, I happen to lost my mom to the same disease, so I can relate in, in the whole sense of what we're trying to do here, create an awareness to, uh, you know, the, the modern killer of our society today is cancer. Yeah, it's Somehow. only one percent of the population that, that uh, acquires sarcoma. Yeah, very it's, small. It's, it's a very, very rare, small one, but nevertheless, mm -hmm. it takes it takes moms, it takes sisters, it takes fathers, it takes friends. So anything that we can do to bring some awareness to it, you know, yeah. and it's important. Recently, they had a person, a woman back east, survive from sickle cell anemia. Did you read about that article? Uh, one of the first people ever to be cured of sickle cell anemia. And you know how long we've been fighting that. We've been, we, I mean, in this last century, we have done more strides in all sorts of advances in life as in, in general. And medicine, obviously, has taken the biggest leap as humankind will know, mankind. So. We're living in the times where we can see things happen, and all what we got to do is this: create awareness and people to support it, help, support and it. help out. Yeah. And, uh, tell Big Pharma to get out of the way. Oh Lord, yes. You want to get talking about Big Pharma, corrupt government, oh, banking, yeah. and insurance companies? Yeah, just man. let us heal ourselves, right? Amen. You know, that's all. Just let us heal ourselves. Yes. There you go. That's what it's all about. What you got coming up? What's what's new happening for you? Uh, well, actually, I'm getting ready to go out and do some dates with a gentleman who's going to be performing up here, Jonathan Butler. Oh man, so, he's going to do a acoustical guitar yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, he's doing his thing. So that's uh, one of the uh, partnerships that I've been working right now. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Well, get on in there. The line's going. I know you want to enjoy yourself tonight. Thanks for the few moments, Thank you, Oscar. Man, brother. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, Jesse T. With you here, uh, just grabbing one of the great uh, musicians and artists of our time. Just terrific to have him here on the red carpet as we uh, are going to work this end just a little bit more and uh, see what we can do over on this side. Yeah, we got all kinds of things going on here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start calling it a quits here in a second. Uh, I want to get back on the line, get uh, Monique back up with us here and uh, maybe get one more word with Tommy. Uh, so that we can, because uh, uh, Tommy is the one that put all this together, Tommy Davidson, uh, here for the family, the uh, for Linda Novak, the Wiener family. So uh, we're going to try to get that going here before he goes on. He's going on tonight and performing his comedy routine as well. All right. And uh, he may have exited that way yeah he's going that way so uh, we're gonna get uh, gonna get one more word with him and grab him right. Tommy all right she made it Tommy congratulations on the great time great event tonight thank you man it's gonna be a great show so many great people Thank I appreciate you. what you're doing for this, and uh, what a great cause, huh? Thank you for being here and getting us on this thing. Hey, man. We, whatever uh, it is. Hey, we're on 25 <laughs> million. Yeah, whatever it is. 25 million, baby. That's right. There you go. Absolutely. Hey, good to have you out here. We're going to be uh, exiting. I, I got your point. Monique. Thank you, Monique. Thank you. Enjoy you're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Bye. All right. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, we're going to get over here. The Jesse T Show broadcasting live here on Facebook, live stream, Periscope, Instagram. Also broadcasting on Tumblr, Twitter, Diggy, Pine Trust, Pinterest, and can't forget about the power of voices.com and uh, hot 92.3 thebeat.com. The Jesse T Show broadcasting live there. And we're here on the corner of Sunset uh, and. Uh, uh, Laurel here at the Laugh Factory for the uh, Sarcoma event, the Sarcoma Oma Foundation. You can see it right here, the Linda Novak uh, winner. And uh, this is all about uh, solving this terrible cancerous problem. Uh, we had lots of stars out here. We talked to lots of people out here. It was just terrific and a great time. And it's good to have it's good to have you along with us. Uh, and we're going to be uh, heading off here to our next destination. Uh, that's for sure. Here in just a second, um, we hope that uh, you. Uh, 
check us out tomorrow on the Jesse T Show right here, 5 to 6, Monday through Friday, broadcasting on uh, TV and radio across the nation uh, and uh, to our large network. Uh, we appreciate you always sharing and liking us and sending it out, okay? Well, that's going to be it for Dan the Man and I, Jesse T. The Brown Beauty is off duty. See ya! Boom! <laughs>